National Authority for Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse Staff Mortgage and Car Loans Fund, Non-Governmental Organizations Coordination Board, Kenya Meet Commission, Sports Kenya, Kenya National Library Service, Ndia Technical and Vocational College, and Dedan Kimathi University of Technology. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Yes, uh, the Honorable Wandai. The speaker, I thank you very much uh, and for the indulgence. And I think this is the right, the, right, the right point for me to raise this equally important matter. Mr. Speaker, <coughs> you will recall that we have had endless debates on the matter of NGCDF uh, while appreciating the fact that we are currently at the stage of engagement on some bill which is, which is, which is being proposed. Mr. Speaker, it is on record, and it is indeed true, that this is the first time, at least since 2013 when I joined this house, that we are getting into the end, the tail end of the second quarter of a financial year. Only members kindly, kindly pay me attention. This is the first time since 2013 uh, when I first joined this house that we are getting into the tail end of the second quarter of financial year when there is no single disbursement of NGCDF funds to the constituency accounts. Mr. Speaker, we are, we are, I'm raising this matter because without necessarily anticipating debate, we are soon going on the long recess, which will only end sometime in February or March next year. February 13th. Mr. Speaker, going by past precedents, if this House adjourns for recess without a clear indication as to when disbursements of NGCDF will be made, we stand the risk of staying all the way up to the last quarter of this financial year without any single amount of money being disbursed. And yet, as we speak, nobody has told us why no money is being disbursed. Previously, we were, made, we were made to believe that it was the previous or the former cabinet secretary who was adamant. But since this House approved the appointment of the substantive uh, cabinet secretary, that is Professor Njoguna Ndung, would I be in order, Mr. Speaker? Therefore, because we know the, committee, the relevant committee is still at the formative stages, would I be in order to ask you, Mr. Speaker, that this matter be directed to the leader of majority? that he engages with the executive, and in particular the cabinet secretary responsible for national treasury, by next, by next week at the very latest, to make an equivocal undertaking as to when the first disbursements of the NGCDF funds are going to hit the accounts of the respective constituencies. And may I also dare say, Mr. Speaker, and this is no empty threat, that failure to do that, I will be moving uh, members of the House to, to refrain from any talk of recess, firstly, and secondly, to refrain from any engagement on any business. Not un until and unless CDF, NGCDF funds are disbursed. <laughs> uh, and therefore, Mr. Speaker, I will be seeking your guidance on this matter. And indeed, asking you to make a di a di di give a direction to the relevant cabinet secretary to take it upon himself that these NGCDF funds are disbursed without any further delay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Majority Leader, do you have uh, anything to say? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And I just want to associate myself with the sentiments of the leader of minority. <laughs> that uh, matters to do with CDF, Honorable Speaker, and the National Government Action Fund, which is ably patronized by our county MPs. Honorable Speaker, are matters that are very sensitive, not to members of parliament, but to the people that we sit here to represent. 
And uh, there is nobody in the executive who should imagine that you are doing any member of parliament any favor by disbursing CDF. CDF funds are 